What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk to you guys about the current weapon system in Destiny 2. Now for me the weapon system, in my opinion and to be honest, is at the top of the shit list. Yeah, many other things have led to this game being boring and dead after the first few months. But so much of that could have been, well, not in place if the weapon system was right. The thing is, Destiny 2 has a great array of different weapons. For sure it isn't as big as Destiny 1's armor at the moment, but it is still big enough. The problem is, it feels like it's about 1 1000th of the size of Destiny 1's due to the fact random rolls are not in place. If random rolls were in place, imagine how big the armory would feel. You could have 20 different versions of a single weapon. Now at the moment we have one version of every weapon. Yeah okay, Masterworks add a little plus stat to them, but nothing of how like they were in Destiny 1. Watch these next few clips and you'll understand kinda what it was like to obtain a certain set weapon. Watch, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a, uh, a Sluna too. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! And a headshot in the team, dude. I'm done. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! I even caught him like I'm gonna get a Sluna too. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh, come on, come on. He's me, kid. Oh, hit the head! Shark is! Oh my god! Oh, oh, holy shit! Oh my god! You see that? That's a chase you'll never see and witness in Destiny 2 and won't ever see when it comes to weapons. If all one weapon is the exact same, it gets real boring real quick. With the addition of random rolls, it made that chase for a weapon, for sure a longer process, but it was way more rewarding at the same time. It confuses me how Bungie don't see that. If let's say the Uriel's Gift had 25 different variants, two were considered a perfect roll, but the only way you could get that perfect roll Uriel's gift was by grinding lost sectors. Although the drop rate would have to be rare, imagine how many people would be spamming at lost sectors for that perfect roll. And this is just one weapon for instance, there's loads of weapons out there that could be good with better rolls. At the moment, although the Uriel's gift is a great weapon, once you have it, you have it. Every other version instantly gets deleted without you even having to check its perks. Now Bungie have announced recent changes to the sandbox to make the game way more fast paced and abilities cool down even quicker, basically to make it feel like it was in Destiny 1. This is a great thing and it's something many people in the community wanted. Problem is, it isn't all they want. Random weapon rolls, I'd say they want even more. I can get on with Destiny 2's PvP at the moment, I mean it isn't as fast paced as the ones was. But it isn't that bad, the problem is there's nothing to play it for. Once you've got them certain said weapons, there's nothing else to grind for. Ranks are a great addition and yes they are coming soon, but we need more than just a number to chase. With the addition of weapons which can drop with random rolls, it would make that grind even more fun and rewarding. Now me personally, I don't ever think random rolls will ever be introduced into Destiny 2. It will literally take a whole new reworked weapon system, something I don't think they could ever do. So what's the next best thing? I'd say the mod system. The mod system needs to be made so that weapons can be made extra unique. Mods need to be in place as an extra feature we can use to customize individual weapons. It's kind of the best of two things right here. Two grinds, one for the weapon, another one for a mod to apply to that weapon. You can even make it even so weapons have a chance to drop them with a certain mod. That makes the chase for the weapons extra special. But in saying that, the mod system needs a whole new revamp. How many weapon classes can I name off the top of my head? Auto rifles, pulse rifles, hand cannons, sidearms, scout rifles, fusions, shotguns, launchers, uh, whatever else there is. All individual weapon types and these all need individual unique mods and more than just one per weapon group. So imagine you had a set of five unique powerful weapon changing mods to apply to each of the weapons in them groups. This would make the whole grind way more entertaining. It could also coincide with weapon rarities. So listen to this quick concept I thought up in my head the other night. Let's say a rare hand cannon or auto rifle. This would apply to actually all rares in the game. You can apply one unique weapon mod for that class to that weapon. Legendaries have two weapon mod slots for you to truly customize that weapon. Let's use an auto rifle here for demonstration purposes. Let's go with their origin story. This will now drop with two weapon mod slots. You then need to go and farm weapon mods from whatever source they drop from. Obviously they drop as random to make the grind even longer. Once you get two mods you are happy with, 
and you think would work extra well on your origin store, you can then apply the weapon mods to that weapon. Imagine the customization options you could have here and the fun messing around with certain setups. Now the way these mods would work, obviously once you apply them to that weapon, if you don't like your setup you can't take them off, that makes the grind even longer and that's the way I'd probably like it too. I mean if every weapon class had 5 unique weapon mods or 10 unique weapon mods, the more, the more customization we have. It's a system like this for weapons I feel this game truly needs to recover. Yes the addition of a faster time to kill and speed up gameplay are great and will be fun for a certain while, but while there is nothing to chase you will soon get pretty bored. Now we know Bungie are working on the mod system to the game. This improved mod system was supposed to be coming in May with the 1.2.0 update. Since the recent roadmap details, things have changed and we've seen that it's now been delayed even further. Christopher Barrett said this, mod system improvements are also still planned but will not be available when the 1.2.0 is released. We'll give more details on when to expect these changes at a future date. Now this tells me one of two things, they are either busy making other changes and don't feel mods are that much of an important change or they are working on such a system which will make customising weapons a feature like we expect and indeed want and need. It's going to be one of the two and I'm guessing we'll find out soon enough. Again like I said the game needs some kind of weapon customization, seen as random rolls are a thing of the past. With the inclusion of a mod system like this which allows us to truly customise individual weapons allowing us to apply certain mods which are obviously way better and way more worked than what the mods we get now. Imagine like auto rifles had one mod which was like glass half full and another mod which was like counterbalance and you could pair them together on say the UU's gift. What impact would that have? How would that change the game? Same thing for say a hand cannon of whatever sort you like. Imagine you can get a faster reload and something like what we had with the Fate Bringer with Dragonfly and applying them to your hand cannon for use in PvE. But if they did make a certain set number of mods uh, specific for certain weapon types which you could apply to any weapon you want to. I reckon this kind of system would be absolutely amazing and would bring a lot of people back and it's something extra to farm for. We can see with the inclusion of Masterworks, it's on their mind and with Masterworks, with a weapons mod system like this in my opinion would be amazing and fill the gap that people are missing with random rolls. On that note guys, I am out. What do you think about the mod system I just made up? Do you think it would work? Let me know. Obviously with the right coding and the right balancing, it could be quite good. But let me know what you think. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I. Get it right